Have you ever wondered why people go to school? Did they go for money? For fun? Or for education? What do you think? Um, so like a month ago, I visited the University of Birmingham and I stayed with a couple of friends of mine and it was a really good experience because it, it's quite different from my university like the buildings, the people, the environment and so much more, you know so I got time to like learn a lot from the university's students and it was quite good, you know and I also got the opportunity to interview like, two of my friends and also take a tour around the uni and I really appreciate my friends for like giving me this opportunity to like do this video because you um you really participated in it and I really appreciate it so just let's watch this documentary and I hope you like it Hey guys. Hi. What's up? I'm Damola. And I'm Francis. And we attend <laughs> the University of Birmingham. <laughs> We're in foundation for law. We're about entering first year. And currently, Birmingham is <laughs> rated 15th best university in England for law. So. Actually, is rated. Fifteenth best in England for the world. What the world? Fifteenth. That name. Fifteenth to fifteenth. I'm going up before you know it's now. We'll go first. The University of Birmingham is a really interesting university. It's very tasking, so that keeps us busy, and we're never just out of place because I don't know. She wasn't check technically, yeah, academically. <laughs> Even though everybody thinks Birmingham is like the city of party, but at the University of Birmingham, yeah, I see the smartest entry requirements are really high. Not anybody can just enter. So, feel good to that house. So, we are going to tell you why the University of Birmingham is different from other schools here in Birmingham and generally in the whole of. UK. So, apart from academics that we are presently doing really well in, and we will always continue to do that. But then, Sha, I always say Sha. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but socially, and socially, we also have a lot of students organized events like. We had fireworks last year in December and then usually have freshers meet and then aside that does we have anything? But there are a lot of societies to get engaged in so you can find you definitely find something that fits either your religious or your social or your sports activities or anything so you can always fit in and then we have student mentors have different things to just make sure you're comfortable and that's perfect. Yeah, so relating to the societies that we have, for example now, France is a new <laughs> That is a temporary store. <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> and I'm also part of the 
growing in faith and truth Christian society. And then there are also other societies like the African and Caribbean society, the Hindu society, the, Mus- the Muslim society. For those that enjoy bowling, basketball, volleyball, any form of sport entirely. And then you're also free to create societies that you feel are necessary in the school. So that also gives you the room for diversity in the university. Mm-hmm. And they always give us free ice cream during the exam period. Because last week Tuesday we had free ice cream in front of our accommodation and it really helped because mom's been dying of hunger. Just ice cream. Got a boutique. Did you have the ice cream? We were sleeping. Yeah. Enjoying the first. And I the yes. And you were hot. So bye guys. We'll come back some other time. See you.